Good morning, Juno. All right, so prey drive. Just to reiterate, prey drive is loaded or triggered by sight, scent, sound, and movement. And you can see here with uh, Remy, um, she's in prey drive, but she's in a very, very excitatory, or what I refer to also as an adrenalized state. And you can tell by, like her gait is very choppy, very staccatoed. Her head is very high. Um, she's very hyper-focused on what's in front of her. So that's a visual for her. She's not really using her nose in any of these walks. Uh, and you can see her tail is like extremely spiked, you know, very much flagging. And again, that's, that's all a high adrenalized aroused state, but it is predatory. So other sort of predatory drives could be um, like the coyotes when I used to watch them hunt at my ranch. They were very focused. They were very low to the ground. The tail was very low. They were very fixed on what they were going for. You can see that when you're doing like finding work with dogs. If you hide retrieving bumpers, this is a predatory prey drive exercise. It's very controlled. But again, you're going to see the dog break when you send it, and then they're going to slow down and have to slowly track, right? Um, long line work. Uh, that's allowing the dog to go in the prey drive. We're bringing it out of prey drive into pack drive. Right, so, <coughs> excuse me, in this case, with Remy, who has some dog reactivity issues, got into a couple little dust ups with some dogs, um, it's critical that we get control of that adrenaline and also building confidence at the same time because this is what's driving the behaviors. Because when dogs and even people are in those adrenalized states, they make really poor choices and everything for Remy is sus suspect. Everything's a target and she can see a guy with a snowblower and she can fixate on that. She can see a dog at 75 yards and fixate on that immediately. There is no pause for curiosity and that's what we need to create in her, right? And so it's not a matter of suppressing the prey drive. I did put a power loop on her to see what that would do and how much it would mitigate it. And it may have slowed her down a little bit, but it, to me, that's a bit of a band-aid because we're not really addressing the core or the root issue with her, right? Which is the insecurity and the over-adrenalized state. So next time you're looking at dogs, you know, and you feel they're in prey drive, kind of start paying attention to what that body language looks like because tail is not, tail is just one indicator of what the dog feels in the, in the grand scheme of things, right? So anyways, I hope that helps and thanks for watching.